Hey everyone, I've just been taking a look at the science news and apparently an Israeli space mission ended in failure this week when the rocket crashed into the moon, having presumably missed its original target of the Gaza Strip. But the main news this week in my mind was the arrest of Julian Assange. After seven years of living in the Ecuadorian embassy to avoid extradition to the US, he's finally been shown to Ecuador. Let's just hope he didn't leave his car parked outside, eh? Otherwise he'll have far greater consequences when he sees the bill that Knightsbridge's local parking authority are waiting for him. In all seriousness, no, Mr. Assange faces charges in America for, quote, conspiracy to commit computer intrusion after conspiring with former intelligence analyst Chelsea Manning. Chelsea Manning, of course, was once known as Bradley Manning, so no doubt this is one of those stories where many on the left will say that Julian's real crime was using an incorrect pronoun at some point in the past five years. Ah, well, gender studies was an easier topic back in the day, wasn't it, when there were only two of them to study? Anyway, let's cut to the chase and ask what really went on here and follow the money. Ecuador kicks Assange out of the embassy, then that same week its government arrests a person who's close to WikiLeaks whilst on route to Japan. And lo and behold, there's suddenly talk of a new trade deal between Ecuador and the US. I'm not saying there's an ulterior motive at play, but I'd almost expect President Trump to send a lawyer to deliver the trade deal, along with a cheque for $300,000 that he'd quote no prior knowledge of. It's an especially odd case, all because Mr. Assange is loved by those on the left and the right. I've seen his case defended by libertarians as well as Diane Abbott, of all people, who told the Today programme earlier this week that the UK must defend him to the end and resist handing him over. But then she would say that, wouldn't she? After all, he's not a British citizen. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.